my name is Francesca Toro. I am 21 years old and I am from Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is an island in the Caribbean with around 3.8 million citizens, a tropical paradise that has numerous touristic places that attract the attention of many worldwide visitors due to the majestic splendor of our ecosystems, beauty of our nature, the many fun outdoor activities, social events, delicious food, and the rich culture we share, adding to such the hospitality, amiability, and charisma of us Puerto Ricans who always give a warm hearted and open arms welcome to all who visit us. As a young, full-spirited person, I enjoy doing physical training alongside with extreme sports and dancing. I also enjoy traveling and getting to know new places and meet new people. Energy for me makes the world go around. It has become the foundation in the new ways humanity lives. Our recent generations in the last 100 years have experienced a change to an industrial and electric lifestyle. From lighting a fire to turning on a switch, our lives are definitely more comfortable than ever before. But it all comes with a price, gasoline and pollution. All my life, I have been worried about this real impact in situation and how as a civilization, we can maybe alter our ways of generating energy and still enjoy the way we live. When I became an ambassador of our Mother Earth, I teamed up with Puerto Rico's Casa Pueblo, a nonprofit environmental watchdog community-based organization in the mountains in the center of the island, where their mission is to be the voice of the waters, the forest, and our people here in Puerto Rico since they were established more than 30 years ago. They were pioneers here in my country as the top environmental defenders, given the example of becoming the first entire solar energy community in the island, where they run everything solar, even their own radio station. This type of area attracts ecotourism to Puerto Rico. The island consumes 120 million of dollars every year in street lightning public energy alone. That's a lot considering our land size of 3,315 square miles. So understanding this issue, I research new alternative to reduce this excessive annual bill and more important to reduce the impact it has in our environment. And as it turns out, I discovered a wonderful and inspiring new invention. Engineering students here at the University of Puerto Rico have recently developed a lighting LED card that can substitute every traditional street lamp bulb around the island. This invention is amazing because the investment will not rely on changing the whole street lamp, just the bulb for the new card. The old bulb used at least 200 watts, generates heat in the environment, and needed to be replaced every four years versus this card, which only consumes 33 watts with its cold lightning and does not need replacement in around 20 years. Replacing the bulbs with these cards will have 50% economic benefits in bills reductions and less pollution to our environment. And if you adapt these bulbs in the solar community, well, the possibilities are endless. Just imagine if all of the island can make that change. Just imagine if our whole planet can make that change. Wow, now that's a real change. That is the dream. I'm working on advocating here in Puerto Rico, giving this positive energy message through our newspapers, television, radio, social media, campaigns, meetings with government leaders to make it happen. I can only imagine that with the Miss Earth's Beauty for a Cause platform, 
together, we certainly can make an impact around the earth. It has always been my goal to not only represent my country internationally, but to be the voice of many who are not heard about environmental advocacies, without forgetting of my capacity to utilize my title and position to make a contribution to this earth of which I will feel very proud of. Why do I want to be Miss Earth? It's not just to care. It's to be the difference that makes a change on Earth. And I can be the change Earth needs. Miss Earth Puerto Rico, and I am a woman of the earth.